everyone, it's Amelia Mashoni from the Beautiful Mind Academy back again to talk about study tips um, if you are taking a test, exam, whatever you're testing for. Um, so I tell all my learners to always start with a baseline measure of their current knowledge. So understanding your current knowledge will be crucial in targeting how to study. Um, assessing your current knowledge will actually allow you to identify areas that you need more attention in and identify your strengths as well. Um, it will also set you up to set clear expectations and realistic goals for yourself. So knowing where you currently stand will enable you to set achievable goals, whether you're aiming to master a skill or understand very complex ideas, setting um, your goals based off of your current knowledge will ensure that your progress um, suits where you're kind of moving towards. It will also optimize study strategies. So different subjects and topics require different study approaches. So assessing your baseline will help you tailor um, your study strategies to match the specific needs uh, for that subject. Um, it will also allow you to be more efficient with your time. So knowing your starting point and your end goal, um, because this way you can allocate more time to challenging topics and spend less on concepts that you are more familiar with. Um, I would also be efficient with my time knowing what um, subject or targets are weighed um, on the test or exam. So of course, if something is weighed more, I would spend more time on those areas, whereas I would spend less time if something is worth, let's say 2% or 5% uh, total. Um, most importantly is having a baseline will uh, build your confidence. So it first starts with acknowledging your current level and being okay with that, that and providing a realistic um, perspective on your abilities as you make progress and overcome some of those challenges. So you'll be able to build confidence where you actually see your progress and see how much progress has been made through time. Okay, so after you take your baseline measure, then you will find a system that of course works for you, but uh, along with that, you can also uh, do some of these. So the first is study uh, schedule. So with a study schedule, making sure that you have a schedule for yourself, write it out, put it on a calendar, on your Google calendar, um, and ensure that you follow through. That's the most important. So you can have it on your calendar, but if you're not following through, then no studying is actually being done. Um, set clear goals. This will come directly from your baseline measure um, and then having goals to the end goal, which is your final test. Uh, the third one is taking breaks. It's very important for you to take breaks, um, to minimize your stress, make sure that you're actually learning this material and not very tired when you're doing so. Um, and a lot of the time, sometimes people think, oh, we're, we're taking a break, we're wasting time. Um, that's not the case. So don't feel bad if you need to take frequent breaks along the way. Uh, the next one is finding, finding an environment that suits you. So if you like quiet environments, I would suggest going to the library for that. Whereas if you're somebody like me who likes busy, who likes kind of chaotic, um, I would recommend coffee shops are really good at that. Um, I know when I was testing and studying, I would always go to Starbucks um, because of the loudness, but also because there were other people studying or doing work. So every time I felt like not wanting to do it, simply looking up and seeing everybody else did it motivated me enough. Um, quizzing yourself on those subjects to see if you actually got the material. And the last and final thing is do a final test for, your, uh, for yourself. And this will allow you to see how far you've come from your actual baseline. Um, and it will also allow you to see if you do need to practice any more of those areas. So I hope that helps. Thank you so much. Comment down below if you have done any of these and let me know which one helped you the most. And if you don't see one of these study tips on here, write and comment down below what you do outside of these ideas. Um, so that way you can help somebody in need as well. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.